Everyone plays a part in making disability inclusion a reality. How we perceive persons with disabilities and how we behave around them are markers of how inclusive we are as a society. Chair, allow me some time to share about Miss Sophie Soon. I got to know Sophie in 2021 when she flew our flag high at the Tokyo Paralympics. Sophie is a young, bubbly, outgoing swimmer. Whenever one meets Sophie, one can almost be sure that Orinda, her golden Labrador retriever buddy, will be by her side. Orinda's love for Sophie, though, transcends the usual pet and owner proportions. Sophie is visually impaired, and Orinda is Sophie's guide dog. Guide dogs are specially bred, and they go through stringent assessment and training for 18 months before they are matched to their potential human pals. Unfortunately, a lack of awareness surrounding guide dogs meant the duo sometimes find themselves in awkward situations, to say the least. In January this year, Sophie and Orinda were all stoked about attending their first candlelight concert until they were stopped by security. And Sophie got asked some questions. She was asked, you want to watch the show, right? By security. Um, how you see? You cannot see, right? This was in January this year. Last November, Sophie and Orinda were again the subject of scrutiny when a fellow passenger on a train unfounded fear that Orinda poses a safety risk made its way into the mainstream, into the media. Sir, in an ideal world, the word inclusion would be without meaning. But we are not in utopia. Quite clearly, we are some way to go. Though there is some reason to be hopeful. Just a few days ago, one Mr. Ko Hock Neo contributed to the Straits Times forum page, expressing his thanks to a police officer and a contractor on separate occasions who had helped his sister, who is hard of hearing. So there are glimmers of hope. It is my strong belief that Singaporeans are a red-blooded, big-hearted people, sometimes just a little shy. Time and again, in moments of need, we have shown that we have so much room in our hearts for those amongst us with less, and for those amongst us who are facing, quite frankly, different challenges in life. Therefore, I call upon everyone, businesses, community partners, members of this chamber, everyone in Singapore society, to take interest and be the change so that Singapore can truly be a shining beacon for the world in disability inclusion.